Okay, this is my first attempt at cutting a 13 tooth gear. And this was the cutter I used, but it was a 13, 12 and 13 tooth gear cutter. Now we've got the right size cutter. This is a 10 DP cutter, 12 and 13 teeth. So you can see the difference between the two cutters and the difference in the thickness. So when you look at the tooth on there, much bigger. This will be making that come out right. So I've made another disc to try. We get that mounted on the arbor. And get that onto the holder and put it on the milling machine and we'll try with that cutter. So I've got that all set up on the milling machine. I've done a trial cut. So I'll carry on. Here we go. That's the second too fast looking better look. Well I'll just wind that round to the next tooth. Well I'll bring that round to the next tooth. That's definitely looking right now. Right, I'll just do the few more teeth and then I'll show you the doing the last one.
Right, we're on the last one now. Right, that is the 13 tooth gear. I'll just take it off of there and we'll have a look at it. Right, so there is a 13 tooth gear successfully cut. Look, so if you start there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it just goes to show, make sure you buy the right cutter, don't just buy anything. I've learnt a good lesson there and I've also learnt to cut the gear properly. So I know when I come to cut the rest of the gears, I know I can do it. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a 2 inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine. My castings have turned up so I can start turning some castings now for the axle tubes and the third shaft.